Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barry. I am in my Tesla Model 3 2024 rear wheel drive. I focus on POV style content, leveraging Tesla's FSD software. So we're out for a drive right now. It is about 28 degrees Fahrenheit, very, very cold. I'm gonna go ahead and enable FSD right now. And there we go. FSD is now enabled, so the vehicle should drive itself for the remainder of the route. I am running FSD version 13.2.2 and I'm on the standard profile out of FSD profiles that they offer here. So we'll see how today's route goes. I don't have a destination uh, put into the GPS right now. I might change that later. I just want to see kind of where the, the car will take us. But um, 13 version 13 has been absolutely amazing. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. I've been using it a lot and I've had really uh, minimal issues with it. I've had some situations where um, it was questionable, some of the decisions that it's been making. Uh, I would direct you to some of my previous videos so you guys can check those out. But again, I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting on the channel from you guys. You're uh, really engaged with all the content and uh, you're really enjoying these FSD style videos as well. So um, I'm gonna continue to release these and document my journey as FSD software gets better and better and as the Tesla team provides more updates for everybody. So I'm really excited to see how uh, today's route goes. You could, you could see we still have a good bit of snow outside of the road. So the roads here have been cleared out, which is nice. Uh, but we did get uh, a couple days ago close to five, six inches of snow. Um, most of the roads are cleared out, so we shouldn't have to deal with anything um, as far as ice or snow on the on the main roads here go, but we'll see how the route goes. So we're gonna be making a left-hand turn here at this light. So we got the green arrow up ahead here. FSD is crawling up cautiously and making the turn very, very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and take over here and switch lanes into the uh, left turning lane here. And then I'm going to go ahead and re-engage FSD. Okay, so it's taking us into this plaza here and then making a left. That's interesting. Interesting decision there to steer us into this uh, side road here. And again, we don't have a destination put into the GPS so it's making decisions on the fly so that's probably very likely why uh, I decided to go in this side road here it doesn't have a destination but you don't need a destination so if you just want to cruise around you can do so um, I've noticed it's a little wonky though and I, I it's to be expected I guess right if you don't have a destination put into GPS it makes weird decisions um, but that's okay I think that's normal and I think that's uh, we have a four-way stop, we're going right through. Very nice. So I think it's normal, like I said, uh, if you don't have a route put in, it's going to make decisions on the fly and sometimes they're a little wonky, but that's okay. I like how it went right through that stop sign right behind us though. We have a bunch of vehicles parked on the road. Okay, so we have a uh, pickup truck quite a bit down the road uh, but it is approaching us and we have vehicles obviously parked on the road here and it's quite a quite a narrow um, street here we have a speed bump very nice no hesitation look at this amazing we have the pickup truck coming our way oncoming traffic we have vehicles parked on the shoulder here on the street and we had a speed bump and it maintained its lane it didn't hesitate didn't jerk here's another speed bump let's see if it slows down yep slowed down perfectly amazing 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 that is so awesome to see it is so confident i mean it's just going right through it's just driving like i would i mean it is it's not uh hesitating at all there's no weird uh wheel jerks or anything we have another speed bump it's slowing down it's slowing down for this one a lot more than it did for some of the previous ones bunch of snow here oh look at that amazing it passed that so it went out of the way there was a big pile up of snow and it, it detected that, uh, swerved, swerved off to the left and avoided that big pile, amazing. Another speed bump here. It's already going pretty slow, so I don't think it slowed down anymore, didn't need to. Another vehicle parked up here. We do have a pedestrian on the left side walking down the road here. So we'll see how it handles that. I mean, they, they're pretty far out to the left side, so although they're on the street, shouldn't impact our driving. FSD went right through. Another speed bump here. 
a bunch of vehicles parked on both sides of the road here as we're entering a uh, heavy residential area very very nice some pile up of snow here as well look at this amazing it's it's pulling off to the left side it's detecting that pile up of snow and moving uh, to the left side to clear to clear that path to ensure it's not going over the the pile amazing absolutely awesome vehicles on either side here going right in the middle not a problem at all approaching another speed bump should be slowing down very nicely and it is oh my gosh this is amazing I'm so excited to see this especially where it's detecting the snow pile so it's detecting the snow pile and just moving around it. It's dancing around all of these obstacles. Absolutely amazing. Really incredible. Really, really incredible. Approaching a stop sign up ahead here. But we do have this uh, speed bump right here. So it's slowing down again very nicely. We'll see if it's going to go straight. Okay, so it turned its blinker on. So we're going to be making a right. Interesting. It says no outlet up ahead. Um... I don't think FSD reads signs except for stop signs, so maybe we just got lucky and it turned its signal on to go this way and maybe it had nothing to do with actually reading the sign. As far as I know, let me know down in the comments below though if FSD does uh, read signs like that. Last I checked, it does not. I think I'm going to go ahead and take over FSD here and then I'm going to make a right turn for us to get us back out on the main road. And I think I'll go make a right turn here. And then once we make this right turn, I'll go ahead and re-engage FSD. We have a vehicle coming up here on the left side. And we are clear to go, so I'll go ahead and make this right turn. And once we're clear, I'll go ahead and re-engage FSD just about now. And we are in a 35 mile per hour zone gonna go ahead and put in a destination of target that's nearby I want to see if it's going to park at the destination for target when I put in Best Buy which is also nearby that same target which I've just put in here uh, I've noticed that it takes me to the front of Best Buy and it doesn't actually park so I want to see if it acts any different if I put target my guess is that it'll just take me to the front of the business um, but we'll see here in just a minute if it can park for us at the destination. Entering the plaza here very nicely. We should be making a left turn right up ahead. And target is to my left here. Parking lot seems relatively clear. Making the turn into the front of the store. And we'll see what it decides to do, if it's going to park for us or if it's going to just take us to the very front of the uh, store, the storefront. Okay, turning left. And it might stop right in front. Yep, and it just dropped us right in front. So, did not park for us, but that's okay. Um, overall, really nice route today, even though it's... Uh, you know that the conditions are um, with the snow making it a little bit more challenging especially in some of those residential areas as you guys saw with the big pileups of snow um, roads that are uh, less uh, often treated by the city definitely has uh, some challenges for FSD and it, it performed extremely well I'm so happy to see uh, what FSD can do it's really there's really not much it can't do at this point I mean these rides are getting so seamless um, that it's just amazing. It's really awesome to see the, the obstacles that it's avoiding, the decisions that it's making. So really awesome ride overall. I appreciate all the support, guys. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm going to be continuously releasing videos just like this as Tesla releases more and more updates to their FSD software. So if you like this type of content, I'm asking for your support. And I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Um, thanks again for tuning into today's video. Thanks for tagging along on the ride. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.